Welcome to It Ain't Rocket Science, your monthly science roundup. I'm Adam Balkin. We are here at the MoMath in New York City, the first museum in the U.S. dedicated solely to mathematics. The museum is celebrating its anniversary this year, which we'll get back to in a minute, but first... Educators, administrators, and innovators in the United States, including Time Warner Cable, have been advocating a need for more science education, both during and after the school day, aiming to make students more competitive in science, technology, engineering, and math. In a very competitive world, how do our science skills match up? In this episode, we'll look at the results from the latest study ranking students across the country and check out our worldwide ranking. And as always, we look at how you're getting involved across the country in science and career fairs. Jump into the computer world where designer kids become code warriors, while at the same time, finding ways to keep you safe in the digital world. Later, we'll apply STEM principles to outer space and center stage. All part of Time Warner Cable's Connect a Million Minds initiative to get you educated and involved in science, technology, engineering, and math. To kick off the show, let's take a stop in Brooklyn, New York, where President Obama recently visited a local high school to reaffirm his commitment to STEM. The president stopped in at Brooklyn's Pathways in Technology Early College High School, or PTEC, to talk with students about the benefits of STEM education and careers. The most recent study released by the Program for International Student Assessment, an organization that issues a test to 15-year-olds around the world every three years, the United States was outperformed by 29 nations in math and 22 in science. And every year brings more research show, showing them pulling ahead, especially in some of the subject matter that this school specializes in, math and science and technology. So we've got a choice to make. We can just kind of shrug our shoulders and settle for something less, or we can do what America's always done, which is adapt. Schools like P-TECH give students a chance to get a jump start on college, earning both a high school diploma and an associate's degree, but most importantly, to get first dibs on jobs. For these students, the president's visit was an added inspiration. It meant a lot because it's really showing that all eyes are on us, and from this point, we need to keep on working hard and keep on going to new heights. Five more schools like P-TECH are planned for New York City with more to follow across the state with a push west to Chicago. Now, as we mentioned earlier, one institution that's committed to boosting young people's interest in math is celebrating its first birthday. The Museum of Math, or MoMath, is holding a series of math happenings in New York City to commemorate its opening last December. In one of the events, over 500 Pythagoras enthusiasts surrounded the iconic Flatiron Building to celebrate its triangular dimensions. It's so cool to be out here with all, every, all these people so excited about math. We want mathematics to be part of people's lives. We want them to feel engaged. And if everybody can come out as a group and recognize that there are a lot of other people like them who are excited by the Pythagorean theorem, we think we've accomplished something. We covered the museum's opening last year, and so by the numbers, more than 170,000 people have been to the museum since it opened, more than twice as many visitors than expected. We'll leave you to do the math. Few places fire the imagination like Milwaukee, Wisconsin's Discovery World. Recently, students there celebrated science, technology, engineering, and math by diving headfirst into Time Warner Cable's STEM Fest. Our Shazia Khan has a story. These students are observing, swirling, and building their way through Discovery World in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Discovery World is a unique place. It's fun and it's about careers uh, for young people in STEM and why they should be involved in STEM education now. This event really showcases Time Warner's commitment to the Milwaukee community, their commitment to education, and the value that they put on STEM education. More than 6,000 STEM Fest visitors got the chance to play their way through exhibits from 13 of Milwaukee's leaders in STEM and featured special lab activities for local Girl Scouts. STEM is very important because it allows girls to feel like they have an opportunity in STEM careers and the Girl Scouts are able to give girls hands-on learning opportunities that they might not get otherwise. Giving these future scientists, engineers, and mathematicians the chance to experience STEM firsthand. For It Ain't Rocket Science, I'm Shazia Khan. To find hands-on math and science learning opportunities in your community, visit connectamillionminds.com. 
There is nothing quite like a field trip to open your eyes to the world around you while at the same time making some discoveries about yourself. In North Carolina, students took their enthusiasm for science, technology, engineering, and math outdoors for the third annual STEM Interactive Learning Fair along the Catawba River. Our Claudine Chalfant has the story. The students of today could land a STEM-related job in the future. About 540 of them caught a glimpse of what could be during an outdoor learning fair. We're trying to show them the importance of the river to ask them to have responsibility. We want to make sure that we get these out, you see? Students at the Energy Explorium learned why they should care about STEM courses. Shake it up, shake it up. Volunteers from area colleges, businesses, and nonprofit environmental groups set up tents for the kids to discover. We also talk about emissions, air quality, water quality, and we also talk about the environment and how to protect it. How some certain trees protect themselves and how you can identify like certain trees. One, ready, go! The event gives students a jump start on what will be vital jobs in years to come. For It Ain't Rocket Science, I'm Claudine Chalfant. Students at the fair might be on the road to STEM careers, but at the Popular Mechanics Breakthrough Awards, science and tech buffs are on the precipice of innovation. They range from use in outer space to those designed for your own personal space. The winners of Popular Mechanics Magazine's annual Breakthrough Awards. And while the technologies themselves are wow factors on their own, it's how those technologies appear poised to actually make a difference in the world or our lives that wins them the honor. For example, the biotax sensors in the fingers of this prosthetic hand. They're made just like human fingers, round, squishy, even with fingerprints, so that these fingers can register all the same sensations real human fingers can. The ability to detect the, where you make contact, how much force you're applying, which direction the force is in, the vibrations that you get as you slide your fingers lightly over textures or you detect slip over surface, even the thermal properties that let you tell the difference between something that's metal or plastic just by how cool it feels. Or for someone who's lost use of their legs, this is the Indigo Exoskeleton. The user straps them on and the device physically picks one leg up and then the other in order to make them walk. When you lean forward while you're wearing the device, it can sense that. It can actually sense changes in your balance point and it can respond. So in that way, it's kind of like a legged segue. We call it a legged segue because you lean forward, you walk forward. We're gonna stop here for a quick break. Coming up though, we'll take a look at how some students could be the next innovators at the Popular Mechanics Breakthrough Awards. And we'll hear from one tech titan who got her start in the family business, working side by side with brother Mark Zuckerberg. We think you'll like her story. For more information about science, technology, engineering, and math opportunities in your community, visit connectamillionminds.com during the break.